Yo, what's up, Square Pimper Gate? On this episode, we have my good friend Eric Rivera, a great comedian, a good friend of mine from out LA. We talk about marriage, how him and I uh, kind of started linking up in terms of you know understanding the the man school philosophies and the problem that we talked about his own home life and what happened with that and how I was involved with that. Um, also, don't forget, please sign up for the Patreon. It's patreon.com slash manschool202. Sign up. That's the best way to support us so that we can keep doing this. And if you keep, if you give us, we can keep giving you. I mean, yeah, we're, you. we're answering listener mail and doing bonus content. And with our conversation with Eric, we talk about giving, uh, giving your partner too many options and how that's a bad thing in relationships. So uh, there's a lot of good stuff over there. Patreon.com slash manschool202 bonus content and it helps us uh, keep the show going so thank you for your support i'm not an alpha male i'm not a beta male either i'm just a better man better man well, put your happiness first because if you don't they won't yo 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 what's up y'all gybb get your balls back wwdd what would dante do the sexual revolution it's being podcasted and i am excited um i know i say that 500 times already but this time i really mean it uh, we got a special guest my dude is here but first and foremost harry what's up you ready to rock and roll absolutely i'm ready to rock and roll dante you know me i'm always ready that's what i say to you every time i, I do I, I get up the first thing i ask myself am i ready in case i have to rock and roll i i know that's i you know i wanted to do this who i helped on uh on you know through for, through the consultations and stuff he calls me and I go, how you doing? He goes, how dare you ask me that? You know how the <laughs> fuck like- I'm doing. So anyway, let me introduce my guest, man. Um, this dude, uh, old school friend of mine, dog. We came up together um, on the grind. I could just I could just see the lack of hope in his eyes. It's just dwindled away after all these years of... <laughs> That's how you know it's working. <laughs> it's working. That's, That's how I know, you know he's working. working. That's how you know he's in the game. Give it yeah. up for my Eric Revere, yo. Give it up for A, hey, Big E. What's popping? What's going on, man? Uh, how you been? <laughs> how dare you ask that? No. Uh, <laughs> you know how I'm doing. No, I'm good, man. I'm good, you know. Uh, out here in L.A., still still grinding, still, still, still chipping away, man. I hadn't seen you, like, when you came to New York, and we were supposed to do it in studio. We couldn't do it because, you know, you were producing uh, producing somebody's uh, special, uh, Jesus's special on HBO. And so we didn't really get, we wanted to get in the studio because that, that vibe is always way different. And uh, But Eric's a fan of the show. Eric's a fan of the show. And and uh, he's my, that's my dog, man, because, like, anytime there's a, there's a anytime he's not sure he'll be like yo <laughs> i'll get a text message yo d <laughs> <laughs> and i and always start like, real quick uh, let me ask you a question uh, yeah. is this normal is it normal if dot 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 uh, <laughs> and and Dante's usually pretty good let me guess what happened <laughs> and he just lays out the whole game plan. you're like yeah that's exactly yeah, what happened that's exactly what she said <laughs> It's like it's like Ocean's Eleven. He gives you the whole plan. I give like, you, I go. Son that's of a how bitch. they got the money out. I'm okay. in. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> oh God! I gotta tell, get... Yeah, do the behind the scenes of like, oh, this is what's going on in the woman's room. We Let's do the montage. The yeah. We do the montage, the, the get ready montage. I pull up. Eric is working on a on a on a a, a low rider car, and I go. He goes, you son of a bitch. I was like, I got a job for you. He goes, son of a bitch, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> we do the team montage. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but Eric, Eric's my dog, man. And and but has has really kind of taken the principles and taken them to another level. Just not really giving a fuck about nobody's bullshit no more. Mm. Um, <laughs> you know, not. Well, falling victim to so what was oh. some of the shit that, that was going down before dante helped uh, assisted what was some of the the well, bullshit i think I, I think a lot of it and you know and i've uh, on, on top of calling dante and asking him for advice i've done some self-work on myself and then you realize like a lot of that shit is just programmed from your parents and yeah, the generations absolutely. before yeah to the point like like one of my favorite things that dante always talks about is the is the the non-negotiables yeah and how yeah. many times a dude starts creating this resent towards his his counterpart because 
oh, I don't. Why you gotta do spots? Like I, I, it's always comedians too that I deal with. So it's like, oh, she's she's bitching that I do spots on the weekends. And I'm like, well, why didn't you set that down from the get go? She can't read your mind. Right, right. We don't right. we don't communicate because we see it from our parents. You know, like I remember my mom just yapping at my dad. And my dad just. <laughs> Yeah. They're taking just it. Broke it. Just and, broke yeah. it. Yeah. And the same thing for his, he probably got it from his dad. So then you, you realize, like, oh, if I don't yeah. speak up, then this is going to fail. I got it. Oh, and, and it's never, there's never a situation where somebody's taking advantage of you or somebody's overstepping their boundaries where they go, hey, you know what? I, you know, I've been too hard on him. Yeah. I, I said, <laughs> upon I, reflection, I, I said, I've been acting like a real bitch. You also, yeah. you also never get this. You know, I should fuck him more. I, yeah. I should suck his dick more. That, that also doesn't Never heard that one. Never heard that one. How, never saw, how do never I saw it on a Hallmark life, card. Yeah. You how do I, I make his life easier? I, know, I was thinking. I know he likes fucking me, but I bet you like fucking my sister way better. Do you know what I mean? I mean, just for a birthday or something, well, I'll ask her. See, that never, you know, so it's never a, a situation where somebody is going out of your way. I mean, if you get one that does that, that goes out of Like, I had somebody, uh, Took me to a took me to a play and got got first asked me if I wanted to go right and I I was like yeah I would, I would fuck with that you know and then got a the seats like you know I got bad knees bad back three hundred pounds so she checked the seats to see how big the seats were if the be the seats in the theater were big she got the the corner aisle spot. Um, so I could throw my leg out in the fucking in the in the in in the aisle if my knees started hurting me. I could I could move around a little bit. She did the break before the orchestra, so there was that the walk area stuff. So just but really really thoughtful things that I thought I would never get somebody things that we do uh-huh. automatically. Yeah, things that you know we oh she likes tiger lilies. Yeah. So now we're running around looking for tiger lilies. It, it, you know what I mean? Yeah. But just, the other thing is this. Sometimes you'll find a girl. It doesn't. So I never want to just speak in the sense of like good girls, bad girl. You get a good girl, even a good girl, as good as she is, a, a great person will slip up and do some shit that you go. What is this about? Because they can't help it. It's the nature of what you're doing. You can't be angry at fish for swimming. Well, so think, there I are moments this- where they test subconsciously test your boundaries. Mm-hmm. Or well, request well, some shit that they feel uncomfortable with in the moment that you have to address. Yeah, that, 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 that's, your, that's human nature. I got kids, and yeah. my kids yeah. are constantly yeah. just testing. Like, is that gonna let us do this right here? And you're like, no, mm-hmm. okay, no, we can't. Do, that's not. Nope, we don't do that. No, we're not doing that, <laughs> right? But so, I mean, I think I was gonna say that the human human nature is is to take advantage. <laughs> like we 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 are a big bag of. Of of want, need, and desire. Um, all we give a fuck about most of the time is this is to satisfying those desires. And so what But also ha- I, I do think women at times, uh, or at least my girl, my experience is that at times there are emotions involved uh, sure, which sure. affect the decision in the process, and you're trying to treat every decision and observation with the same respect. And sometimes you have to go, oh, this is not based in either reality or this is just in the moment because I've literally had a girl change her mind in the moment and then later on change her mind again after that moment has passed if that makes sense oh I mean but you gotta yeah. you you set those boundaries sure you yeah. have to set them in spite of her is my point like you yeah, have to make let, a decision that she's let's be about- honest I mean we've all we've lived with other people other men yeah. and we've had sure. roommates when does a motherfucker really give a fuck about what you they, they don't give a, I had a dude in college this motherfucker would not would take cook eat dishes and then it would get like he would not wash the dishes until we used to have to chip the mustard off the plates like we couldn't wash it we had to take a screwdriver and chip the food and the mustard off the plates so it's like you get people in general that just very very rarely are they considerate do you mm-hmm. know what I mean um, and I think when you grow to a certain thing and you do the work, you were talking about doing the work that you 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 know how you want to be treated. And so you treat other people the same way. You know? Right. Right. Yeah. But it, but that's the thing. You got to want to you got to want to do that work. You got to want to yeah. change. You got to want to adapt or be that dude with the mustard on the plates. And yeah. Like, ah, fuck everybody. <laughs> it's all about me. And but you but if you're the dude that goes, fuck everybody, you're the guy that gets treated like the guy that 
has mustard on his plates. Right. Do you know what I mean? It's like you can't want to be, you can't be the dude who has the, uh, what do they call it? The, the what's the pool? The endless pool or the, the infinity, infinity pool? pool. The infinity pool. It, you can't be the dude with the infinity pool and the, the bed that comes out the ceiling if you're not doing real work to do with the great view. You that's work. Right. That's energy. That's sacrifice. And if you want those things, you got to make those decisions. You got to make the hard decisions. And I think that's really what's I, um. E, do you mind talking about how the first thing, or you don't want to talk about that? I, I can get into a little bit. Okay. Uh, All right. So, know. so just early on, I'll go lightly. Early on, there was a little, you had a little step out, but out, but out, but out, right? And this is how, um, well, you tell how you found, how you checked it back to me. Like, you, you. So, yeah, you like, my, yeah, just, you know, like, like, you know, I. And let me, let me, let me defend you too. There was a, it was a, it was a lack of, of, consideration on her part as well i mean it was it was grinding you about your career you not doing this just you were doing everything that you wanted to do that you thought you should do Mm -hmm. as a husband and stuff and she she just didn't appreciate any of it you know just but go ahead so i wanted to say it wasn't just you being a fucking dickhead it was (laughs) you know and it was in you youthful it was youthful exuberance as well yeah, well, you know, like going back to, you know, my parents, my parents were were set in a way like, you know, my father passed away a couple of years ago <sighs> and now watching my mom mourn, like, oh, my, I loved him. I'm like, but did you? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> the way I saw y'all, y'all hated huh? each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all would cuss at each other. So, you know, with any relationship, like if you don't, you know, number one, the non-negotiables or the communication of it all or, you know, <sighs> adapt together. Right. You know, things start falling to the wayside and that's how resentment builds and stuff. And and I think that's what, what happened with us. We were just, you know, I was doing my thing and I was resenting her for no, certain things and she was I doing sp- her thing. And, you yeah. know, and, and that's where, you know, you start going. But I also, I also, and if I, if I remember correctly, you didn't give her a sh- no shit about her doing her thing. The problem yeah. was she was giving you shit about you doing your thing. Like she didn't yeah. mind whatever the confines of what she thought was reasonable in terms of achieving the goals and working right, and right. doing it in her own life. But then it was like, it, well, it's when that, it became inconvenient for oh, her, you're doing spots yeah. on the weekends, yeah. that that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. And, but then, ahead, but then, but then going back to it, like, so you know, me putting in the work for myself. Right. That's where I, you expect that other person to put in the work for themselves, so you guys right. can adapt together and. And that didn't happen. So we both, you know, hit this crossroads and, you know, what happened, happened. And then that's when I hit up Dante. Like, Yo, Dante, uh, I need your help. <laughs> and then right. when Dante hits me with the plane, he's like, let me guess what happened. And I was like, yep. <laughs> yeah. And it was it was re- literally a said about because I, I will say this, you know, you you, uh, you can always find a woman to cut some to, 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 to cut somebody's dick off. And he will always find some other bitch to pin it back on. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Um, so it's, you can, you can, it's all, don't come out in the wash and come out with the rinse. If there's not a genuine, um, honesty, understanding about what a, what each other wants and the goals that you want to mm-hmm. get to. And if you're disingenuous about it, you're just not going to get there. I mean, you, yeah. you could want to get there and still not get, not, and yeah. not have the capacity to get there. So the dishonesty in it. Yeah. Is is just ridiculous. It's just absurd. But we want to be in a conversation of something that we don't really deserve. We don't feel like we deserve to be in that con that that conversation. You know, um, like I, I, if you got a guy and the guy goes, "Look, women should be barefoot and pregnant," you probably not going to discuss feminism with that dude. Like right. it's just, it just it just is you know, with there's no there's no base level for us to have a conversation from because we're so at opposite ends of the spectrum and the same thing is true in a relationship if if you if this woman is attractive and you feel lucky because you got her and you're not willing to say hey i'm i this is i don't like that i don't want to do that and you're constantly doing that then then it really becomes your fault because you're the one that goes you're doing the things that you don't want to do. And then you're resenting her mm-hmm. because you're doing but that. Yeah. But that, but, but that, you know, I, and like, that's a, like, that's part of it too. Like I, I put in all that work. Cause it was a cyclical thing. Like 
yeah. and I see it all the time with dudes when I'm like, you know, exactly what you're saying. If you're not honest and go, yo, I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't like that. Cause when we're, we're dating, we all, yeah, I, sure. I'll do it. Yeah. I would love to spend the weekend at a strawberry fest with your family and not knowing yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to do that. So yeah. then when you turn around a year or two later, go like, yeah, I don't want to do that. So why? It, it catches the other yeah. person off guard. Like what? You you put the you put the bows on and you carry the, the basket of strawberry. Remember, you were the strawberry king. <laughs> Why don't you? I hate strawberries. I hate so, strawberries. And yeah. then she goes, "Oh, you're a liar. Yeah, you're, you're a liar." Even if you did it for her, yeah. is the yeah. irony. Even if you did yeah. it for her, she, at in some part of her is like, "Oh, now I don't know what to believe with this dude." Yeah. Now here's the thing: you no. can be the strawberry dude, but you got to say, "Let me." I'm gonna tell you something. I don't I don't give a I don't, fuck about strawberries. All, I don't fuck with strawberries. <laughs> okay. I'm more of a blueberry guy. That's right off yeah. the bat. Okay. But you I will I mean? be the strawberry king. I'll wear the stupid <laughs> strawberry crown, but just know I don't want to do it. This is a favor yeah. that I'm doing favor. for you. And During the week, I like to just squish strawberries with my yeah. feet. I hate them. I hate <laughs> them <laughs> motherfucking strawberries. <laughs> Any, uh, but 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 for you and your goofy ass family that likes these strawberries, I'm gonna rock this. But yeah. understand that this is a gift and I expect to thank you for it. And yeah. I expect when my family want to go to the planting festival. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to you're going to eat those thorns. You're going to eat dry plantains. You're going to eat them just raw. You're going to eat all thorns. Hey, you better put the lime on it, too. I want yeah. you to squeeze the lime. On it. <laughs> so it is. But but there's something that speaks to that. The mutualness of saying I'm worthy of your your attention, just like you want me to give you that attention. I'm worthy right. of it and I want it to be appreciated. And, and and if you think about it, anything that you give, um, you give away for free, has, it, it supply and demand. You lose value. Right. Remember when we go in every comedy club and there was condoms? In every comedy club, like, yeah, sure. and, we, and we used to throw them at each other, <laughs> you know, what I mean? like we just reach it because it was, you know, if you got to spend money on a nice, uh, uh Dante was double, magic tricks, that double XL with. Magnum, though, you, yeah, those are expensive, those that's $18 for the 12 pack player, you know, <laughs> he ain't making balloon animals with that one, hell no, shit. I rinse them out. You use them. I just hang them up on a line. Oh, on a <laughs> I'm environmentally conscious. I'm going to reuse yeah. this one. Recycle. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was uh, it was an interesting thing because of that. And I think that that's what it was. And you were compromising yourself in so many ways. And I just I knew that this was going to be. I, so it's funny because when you said, yeah, so I'm da 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 da. And I, I it be, because it's so the story is so common like we all think that this is so personal to so us i just i know we're trying to speak in code a little bit to respect the privacy i just want to make sure because i'm a little lost on it. it it was career stuff a little more eric like she had a little frustration it, it, with the career because my chick has little, done that as well it was a little, a little bit, bit of everything we 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 had you know we were early in our marriage we had our first kid um she was working a lot. I was working. We were missing each other. We were, we were ships passing in the night. So she would work during the day, come home, and I was gone. The communication wasn't happening. And we just had a lot of little things that were just building up. And because... The stresses, yeah. Stresses, Yeah, too. And because neither one, had, like, neither one of us was going, hey, we should talk about this. Or, hey, this is how I feel. All yeah. that stuff starts building up to the point where... And a man's got to eat, Harry. Man's got to yeah. eat. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't do this. You can't you can't do this business without without something good like you got you, you need something good. You need the gas to keep you pushing to yeah. the next thing because there's so much. Reje- and if you if you're not getting that in your home, you, it's how then you got no gas to move forward. Yeah. So, I, 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 I always say like it, it, it like we we're boxers. We go into the ring and the industry is just beating us down. The last thing you yeah, need is to get back yeah. to your corner and have that corner man and, beat you down. Because then you start yeah. looking around, you're like, you know, who's not gonna hit me? <laughs> All right there. Okay. Did you did you piss in this water bottle? <laughs> How's that you ever, helpful? You ever see that when it, when it, when a corner man slaps the dude in the face? I'm like, yeah. hey, what the fuck? What the fuck? You start looking Wake at the up. ring girl. <laughs> you're like, yeah, she, <laughs> round, round three look good. So, yeah, it's, it was. um, And and the thing is that um, you have to maintain. It's a hard balance to maintain. It's a hard balance to maintain because you got to worry about her emotions. 
because it's easy to get lost in your emotions as a man anyway I, I, I when you're focused on the career because you mm-hmm. feel like I don't I feel like I get lo- I, I lose I cut the emotions out of a lot of things like my girl was sick this week right and uh we're still getting tests to find out what was going on but she was like out i was i had to take care of everything i had to make decisions whether we were going to the hospital whether we were going you know whatever and at some point i was like oh i'm making all these decisions but i'm forgetting to comfort her right and she's like you know i could use a hug i'm like i don't got time for hugs i'm trying to save your life you know but i'm just so lost you it. get up and you walk yeah. i don't give a fuck <laughs> And I'm you like, hear me, soldier? And I'm getting like lost. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm not being affectionate, but it's not because I'm being a dick is because my focus is making sure she's OK. So, I right. mean, I'm like I'm focused on buying the medicines. I'm focused on making sure she's eating it, making sure she's taking the uh, she's eating food and taking medicine. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm not being affectionate, you know, but it's not. You can get lost in that. You focus on the career, you fo- especially when you have a kid. Both parties just focus on that kid. Yeah. And right. you completely forget that this other person needs you. What, yeah. the, what were the things you were doing before you had the kid? You know, that that you're not getting the same attention, the same conversations, the same affections. It can get lost and that then you start to resent oh, yeah. each other subconsciously and it boils over. Yeah. And then once you have the kid, it changes your focus. Like, man, you like I got to do every spot. I got to do everything. I got to I got to make this yeah. happen yeah. somehow. Yeah. That was ain't yeah. cheap formula. And you're like, you know, right. I got to. Oof. Yeah, you. Um, Eric was always a a a amazing business dude, like organized. Mm-hmm. Just a very. I mean, I wish I had your ability to fucking put a put a pin, drop a pin, and then work towards that goal. I'm always all over the place. It's always very organic for me, which is weird because on short term goals, I'm really direct. Mm-hmm. Like if a, if a motherfucker try to like I'm on nigga, you, you trying to play me son you know what I mean yeah. so it's it's a weird thing for me but you've always been grossly focused and 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 which is something that I really admire and I think um I don't think that people appreciate that like a, a woman mm-hmm. doesn't appreciate it's it's almost kind of what you I suppose your ability to provide is attached to your manhood and and you not doing that just makes you not a man it just makes you right not you're just not respected where i think in a lot of cases a, a woman doesn't have that same stigma like that she if she and, does that's great and also like you're fighting for time with that stuff so for me i know that like quality time is a big thing for my girl and it's like hey it's great that we spend this quality time together and i have to decide are we going to spend quality time tonight or am i going to fix those cabinets because come tomorrow when we don't have handles on the cabinets in the apartment we just moved into Somebody's going to be pissed and frustrated that we still don't have cabinets. So it's great that we sat down to watch, you know, this movie, some holiday romance. (laughs) It's great. And you're happy in the moment. So it's weird because they're almost fighting against themselves at times because they want, you know, it's like, no, it's not that I want to sit and watch this movie, but I know that you're going to be upset that this thing isn't done. You're going to be hurt by it. Look, here's the thing. If you you have somebody who's just a reasonable person, if you, if you, Okay, here's what needs to be happening. Yeah. This is the amount of time that we have. You want to see this goofy ass movie or do you want yeah. the, the cabinets done? Because we can't do both. So mm-hmm. you need to make a decision. And then when you put it to them and make it now, if you got somebody who don't give a fuck, right, it wants to do, then that's somebody you shouldn't be with. In the, you know, because they're, right. they're, they're sociopaths. But the thing <laughs> is, it's still your decision as a man to make that that call. I have to make the call because she's not making that call. She well, just wants the movie because it's what she needs in the moment. She needs that attention. That right, that right. But it's also it's yeah. also you. You are also giving the op- options that you're. Um, you're not going. Listen, you want to watch the movie. You want right. the cabinets, or maybe you want to peg me. You're like, <laughs> you know, you're not. That's not in the. You know what I mean? You you make sure that the options are in the confines of will it. What you're willing. What to you do. want? Yeah, yeah. You know, and and I think that's that's where the decision is made and then sometimes it needs to be no decision you, that you just you have enough information to know that, listen there's if you don't get these cab these handles on these cabinets this is just going this is going to be a problem yeah. for me later and mm-hmm. then i'm going to tell you i told you i didn't want to watch that stupid movie 
doesn't matter. What what matters is that things are done. Um, I, I was watching, uh, you know, they do this, this uh, online, they do this actor's table. It was Tom Hanks, Robert De Niro, Don Cheadle. They were all on. Sam and, was there too, yeah. And, and, and uh, Tom Hanks goes, they said, what is the thing that you, you wish think you, you knew? Need? You wish you knew. And he goes, uh, that this too shall pass. He goes, when you're on top of the world and you getting your Oscar. Yeah, that feels great, but it it will pass, right? And when you can't get any calls, nobody's calling, nobody's, you're not making no money, you're not getting, that too shall pass too. So just understanding that things are in constant transition makes you, because I think we get nervous because we go, is this going to be the permanent way? Is this what we're right. going to be forever? And I think that's where we panic, you know? Yeah, especially with what we do for a living, man. Like the highs yeah. are high and the lows are awful, awful. Because then, because uh, then, you know, with, with social media, so we're watching our our counterparts. Like, I'm on a private jet, and you're like, son of a bitch, you motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Damn. And yeah. then, are you watching? Are you watching these trailers drop for specials? And you're like, even on my worst day, I'm better than this. How is this yeah. happening? Yeah, you know, and it gets be- frustrating, and you you start you start panicking. It's, it's human nature. You start panicking, like I, I'm not, I'm never going to get there. Like what's happening here? And yeah. we, yeah, you're right. It, it will pass, but at the, in that moment, we yeah. just start spinning, spinning out. And it's it's funny because I'm you know I was thinking about this, Harry, and I wanted to talk to you about it. To, sure. I never, you know, we always talk about the emotion emotionality of women, right? Sure. But what I what I started thinking about is men have the same level of emotionality, but it's usually with anger in the context of anger. Hmm. Like we express anger like you usually you, if this ro- it's some road rage fight going on, it's probably two dudes, you know, right. for something that too shall pass. It, it will it will also pass. And, and, and so there's an emotionality about the aggression on masculine aggression. I think that we're as reckless. Um, and I think maybe that's why relationships are so difficult, because it's not suppo- you, you're not supposed to use the aggression part. Right. Right. Sure. So that's sure. where that's where we have our emotions. And, you know, unless you're an abusive dude, which is a whole other fucking subject. Yeah. But unless you're physically abusive, which you shouldn't be, um, that's a different tool that gets taken away from us to a degree because we're fighting two different styles, if that makes sense. Yeah. 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 And because you don't really understand it, it, to her emotions seem so ridiculous to you. Sure. Yeah. But they're real. I have to understand that, like, she's not making it up. She really feels this way. It might not be. I, uh, so I'll tell her your feelings are are valid. They're true, but they're not accurate to the situation that's happening right now. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's more to it. There's I mean, more I mean, to it, yeah. dog, I've seen dudes. I've seen uh, I know a friend of mine who Mets fan who, you know, he I've seen them when they were in the playoffs. Uh, that dude was depressed for two weeks. Because they lost. Some, yeah, because of some dudes that don't give a fuck about him, don't know his name. So, I mean, it's interesting that we, you know, we, we have this. It's just different. You know, the way that we we over obsess. I mean, we over obsess about the success of other people, you know, because because we're attached to our ability to provide. And so when other people are doing better than us, it's it, it has nothing to do with us, you know, right. Oh. Uh, I've never had the discipline that that Eric has, like right. business wise, N- never. And I'm trying to get to the point where, I, you know, I'm actually, you know, because my whole thing was I just and not to take this away from you. I was came from that. It was like, yo, just fucking be funny. And it was, it'll, you know, how you going to not be the funniest motherfucker and motherfuckers don't come. They got to find you. Right. Nope. They do not. I, I, they do I learned not that when I moved you. out here. I moved out to LA, what, 10 years ago? And I remember being in meetings and they go, oh, what comics do you like? And I would list off New York dudes that I was playing the seller with that I thought were. And oh, they, and our, who, who? 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 Who's that? Yo, you don't know. Bop, 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 bop. Uh, no. But we, we, lo- we love Dane. We know Dane. Who's? Uh, oh, you don't know. This, this, they play. Nope. And you're like, wow, okay. So the funniest doesn't always win. Yeah, some of them still still unknown. And you're like, okay, I gotta change how uh, how I'm attacking this right here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's funny because relationships are the same way. I got, I think you you have to put yourself out there. You gotta go. 
yo, this is what I got. I mean, I mean, I, I definitely think it's weird because some of those unknown guys are so exceptional. And mm -hmm. I wonder if that has to do with the fact that they're unknown, that there's something that keeps them from, you know, taking that next step step. I mean, yeah. I mean think you'd be more. I mean, because you've seen it from both sides and kind of just living out in L.A. and trying to figure it out. Well, I, I, I know that there's a there's a there's a business sense to it, too. Like you have to play the game a little bit. And from yeah. the stories I've heard about some of these dudes, they don't want to play the game. So yeah. they just they just happy just doing the spots and being funny. And that's what they do. That's the that's the road they want to take. Yeah. So it, but it, they it's want hard, all the man. things that come with the success. Like I think Jay Leno one time they were they were. You know, he was talking about how everyone said he was a corporate guy or whatever. And Letterman wasn't. He goes, listen, we're both corporate guys. You take yeah. corporate money. You are a corporate guy. So right. if that's what you want, that's how you look at it. That is what it is. But you have to be willing to if you want those things and those opportunities. A lot of people think it's an issue of integrity, but it's like whatever that opportunity is, you that's your time to have your integrity, your material. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you still have to get those opportunities. To right. make the most of it. And so sometimes you have to. It's a business. It is a business. Eric, yeah. um, how did the healing? The, the, so we, we talked a little bit about like all the issues going on, but what was the actual healing process and the mending process of that? Man, so, you know, we, we you know, I, I call up Dante who, who, who guided me through those rocky waters, but a, a lot of it was just the rebuilding and, and doing those little things that we, ignored in the beginning like the communicating the, the being honest the going you know these are the boundaries these are the things i'm not willing to give on you know when somebody tells you like oh you're gonna do you're gonna do stand-up comedy hold on like yeah when, when we first met this, was, this that's what i do yeah that's what i'm gonna be to the end like <laughs> i'm not gonna lie to y'all you know even right. during the pandemic it, it came to a point where i'd sit in front of the computer like what other job can i do <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Huh. <laughs> what yeah. are my skills? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I got a 15 year gap in my resume. Well, who's going to hire me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But so, I, yeah. I think it was also for you, it was because you were a willing participant. Like you really wanted it to work. Yeah. You, you wanted it to work and you were willing to put in the work. But what happened was whatever you were willing to do wasn't good enough because it wasn't as, it was like, listen, it wasn't until you got to the point was like, look, we could not do this. You don't yeah. want to do this. We could not do this. And that was the like that was the, the floor that gave yeah. you something to build on. You know, by the way, that, that it, it always it makes me laugh when I hear like the what would Dante do? Because he was like, <laughs> just, you got, sometimes you got to get up and walk from the table. I was like, what? That's crazy. I can't say that. Again. <laughs> you got it. Just just grab your cards and walk. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and I did it. And, and to watch the, it happen. It does work. Look at it. Uh, yeah, because uh, yeah, once, because it was like she, she didn't think you would. Yeah. And then you look. We. we I'll say we, this. I'm. I am not great at arguing and debating people. That is not a great skill set of mine. Even if I'm right, I'm not good at making my points and articulating. I got one move, baby, and that is to pull the plug on the whole thing. <laughs> and that's yeah. all you be, need. Be that kid just be that takes. Go. The, be that kid that goes. Give me my ball. I'm going home. <laughs> Wait, what? No, no, no! You can, you can play. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm good. I'm good. Not I'm only good. that, no, no, you I'll can take be team that ball. captain. <laughs> I'll take that ball. I'll kick it you down can, the street. You It'll can be ball. my ball. You can bat. You can bat. You can bat <laughs> next. We'll let you bat. If you, you can you, leave, you, you can. Yeah, you can be up by ten. It's fine. Whatever you want. Nah, I'm gonna take my nah, ball. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go. <laughs> but you going home? I mean, there'll yeah. be no game then. Yeah. Then I can't. Then I can't put your nuts in a ringer. Every time you say something that resembles that reminds me of the fact that you made a mistake, then I can't run your fucking face across with a golf shoe every right. time you do so. because that's that's what it, and it becomes almost routine. The and abuse also, becomes the, routine, even if it's not abuse, but it, it even if it becomes just like the emotions being into it and the person being upset about the, what's going on. I remember with one relationship, we had gotten into this argument where we were having some problems. And we kept going in a circle and I'm good for like, I'll let you get two laps in. But by the third lap where we round about the same, I'm, I'm like, wait, we've been around here. Didn't we just have this argument 30 seconds ago? They don't want to let it go. They don't want to move on. So then you have to go. Do you want to fix this? Yes or no. But you the thing is, no, no. Forget about what happened. 
do you want to fix this? Yes or no. Do we want to fix this? Uh, well, I just feel, do you, I don't want to, I don't want to know what happened in the past. Do you want to fix this starting right now? Yes or no. And eventually you, you're going to get a yes. Unless uh, if you reach the point where she goes, no, you're, you've never had it to begin with. You didn't have it in way. Yeah. 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 You were a willing, you were really willing to work, but the problem was your, your willingness to work. And this is why I felt bad about it. Cause I've, I, I like, look, any two things that you're going to have to do as human beings is give forgiveness and ask for forgiveness. That's that's part of being human. So for somebody to hold you to a standard as if they couldn't make mistakes. Now, I'm not talking about mistakes where we're talking about the mistakes are the constitution of, of who you are. I mean, we're not talking about you're not Barry Katz. Do you know what I mean, like just, just, you know, what you do is fuck people, you know, um, it, we're talking about that this was this was because of emotions, because of ego. There was a mistake and I want to fix it. And you were a willing dude and it was nothing you could do. And you were just like, uh, so it was like, oh, you oh, you eating carrots. Oh, I bet you ate carrots with that bitch, didn't you? you <laughs> oh, that bitch eat carrots, too. You're, you're like, I, you really you just it, at some point in time is just you just want to be abusive. Mm -hmm. And if you want to be abusive, I could just, I could not, I could, I could just, not. I remember telling this girl, I said, you know, all, the, all the things that I've done for you. And she was like, I've done for you too. And I go, you're right. You are absolutely right. And I got my little duffel bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I start packing my shit. So where are you going? No, you're right. You're right. You are way better than me everything that you've done for me, I don't deserve it. And you're right. And, I don't feel right. As you're walking out the door. <laughs> That's funny. He said, I'm right. And yet I don't feel like I won this. <laughs> you, you, I, you're absolutely right. You're right. I don't know why I'm trying to convince you of something that you don't believe. Mm -hmm. Why would I do that? I mean, it's one thing if somebody is, is having a discussion in good faith, you know, it's, it's even when I was like, you got to be willing to take your ball and go. You were like, all right. The first conversation we had, you were like, yeah. all right, I can't do that. I was like, yeah. all right, well, you know, holler back at me when you <laughs> when you're ready to take I that was, ball. I took my ball with Eric too. I reckon our friendship. I was like, all right, we could. Get, I mean, anything else you want to talk to talk about? Because <laughs> this, that's true. This, like, that's all the info I have for you. That's the move. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, move. have you seen you, the latest uh, Eric was Avengers negotiating. movie? He was like, uh, "There's nothing else I can. Uh, can I? Nope. Can I? Um, nope. Can't. <laughs> what yeah. if I lose? Exactly. Because Dante built this certain way. He's like, you got a Hulk smash. I'm like, yo, can I just walk around and <laughs> no. can I poke? Just, no. See, right but the, the thing is, I I thought that way too about Dante because I always thought Dante was too extreme. But what it is is just his methodology of it. So I'll take my ball and go home, but I'll do it quietly. Dante is Dante is a little bit more brash about the way he does it, but I'll do the same thing Dante does, but just quietly and silently. Less like, yeah, you know, that's cool. And then well, I, I also it's like it's still effective it's, is my point. Like it doesn't I, have to be. When we, even, yeah, even when we talked, I said, you do this. She'll do that. You'll say this. She'll say that. And then blah, blah, blah. It, I knew where it was going to go. And then, and then when you called me, you were like, yo, every yo, you did you write a script? I was like, no, nah, it's just human nature, man. Every yeah. every human. Everybody thinks they're different. Yeah. But nobody shits on the toilet facing the wall. You know what I mean? Right. Now, as, as creative as we are, we all sit on the toilet. And if you think about it, that would be cool. You could eat a sandwich you could write jokes you get there's a desk there but nobody does it backwards and and it's like it's it's you we all think that we're so different and it, it was it was we all want to believe we're unique and special but, but we we're gotta, human beings that like to tend to do the same shit and I, this is how i think it, i've evolved in that is that i will not have a it, there's no more convincing somebody because if somebody's inquisitive i mean the thing where when you we talked you like i need to fix this i want to fix this i'm in a place where i want this to work and i'm like let me solicit somebody who might understand this better than me so that's a that's a 
but that's a great place to in, in terms of an information exchange, you know. Um, but if I'm trying to do something, if you're trying to produce for somebody or you're getting into the producing and stuff and you say to me, Dante, let's work on getting you a special and see. I would love to produce your special. Be good to bring somebody who they haven't seen. And you said, we got to do this and do this. And I'm not doing it. Mm-hmm. You got to go. All right, well, Dante, I got to take my ball and go. We're breaking right. up. You know, like you're not listening like, to me. I, I can't. Yeah. Now, if I say, well, I don't really understand that. Could you explain to me that's then there's good faith. And there has to be a good faith discussion in the context of a relationship. If somebody is just being unreasonable, they're being sociopathic. They don't care about you. Mm-hmm. They just don't give a fuck about you. They don't care about what the outcome is. And sometimes they don't even know what the they, they don't even have the foresight to see what the, where this is going to end up. I always know. You know, like you, you two guys got beef and they'll fuck you or fuck you. And what are you going to do? You ain't going to do shit. Blah, blah. And it's, but it all gets to, to me punching you in your fucking mouth. So for mm-hmm. me, I see, I, I, I got the script. I read the script, right? I know how this ends. I'm going to just go to the last page and pop you in the mouth now. Then we end because you haven't read the whole script. You're at a disadvantage because you don't. You don't even know what to mean. <laughs> you you know that you were doing something. You were you were acting in certain ways, but you don't know how you got to this. I got punched in the mouth. Now well, I look like the maniac. He just he's a loose cannon, nah, dog. Read the script. I would have done this. You would have done this. I would have done. And it's funny because when you when you took a stand and said, "Man, I want to work this out. I want this relationship, and I'm willing to do the work." And if you don't want to, I, I'll go. I'll just leave. I don't even think you said that. I think you just worked at it, and you was like, "I'm I'm I'm out." Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, it's a kid by myself, and I got a guy who wants to help, wants to be there, wants to support me. I, so now Dante, what is that about? Do you think that because in my head, I picture what life would be like without the relationship. Like I picture the consequence of like if this goes wrong. And how come they don't picture and, that and, and until you, you that's because you daydreaming like <laughs> and then I get <laughs> then I then I don't gotta do then I'll what? Call her up. <laughs> I'll get um, a water bed. I just uh, think is people don't have the foresight. I think I have that I have Eric's business mind when it comes to relationships. Yeah. It's like it's this this is this is what the consequences. If I do A, B, C, and D, I can get to this. I mean, isn't that how you think about it in a sense? Yeah, yeah, you, you, you gotta lay it out and see what you know what each choice gets you and you know, weigh the pros and cons. But it's so funny, like to hear Harry <laughs> and you guys talk like oh, I'll call this person up. I would sleep, Dante, man. I would sleep <laughs> yeah. uninterrupted. Oh, for days. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, oh man, I could go back to working out at this hour, and then I don't have to do <laughs> this, yeah. and then it's just... not even. It's not even like I think sometimes women think it's gonna be like you, your your mind is like, oh man, it's gonna be a fuck party in here. Really, what it is is, man, I'll be by myself. And I don't have to. I don't have, I don't have to, to do this. I don't gotta go see Wiccan. Yeah, really. Yeah. I don't I, see. I, like, like married man, if you got kids and stuff, you know the joy of just driving the car with nothing on, just that silence of just. Yeah. Ah, this is this is nice. This I don't is, even know that. Nice. Jeez, <laughs> I didn't even think of that. You can't even oh. have a silent car ride because you have to have something to keep the kid I, entertained. I, I, I don't gotta yeah. listen to Baby Shark for. Oh yeah. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> I mean, you get you you still kind of I mean, any of that. I mean, just coming home and in the house is empty. Yeah. And you're like, oh, yo, I'm going to I'm going to do nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean, I got like, nothing gonna, to do. I can do it when I need to do it. You know what? I'm going to do nothing now. I and could then just, I'm gonna yeah. take a nap and then do, do a little nothing. more. Nothing later. <laughs> do nothing <you> know? later. <laughs> yeah. Or, or just the idea of like, oh. I have no other surprises. I'm not going to expect somebody else's needs that I got to worry about. Yeah. But and by the way, this is not even in a bad relationship. No, this is even no, when that's... things are good because you love the person, but there's still responsibilities that come with it. You have to think for two people. If for Eric, you got to think for three people. Yeah. Like yeah. that's your job. You are expected to think for three people ultimately. And guess what? And if you make the wrong decisions, you're accountable for that. Or if you make no mm-hmm. decisions, you're accountable for that. And I'll tell you something. 
it, it ain't always worth it. <laughs> it's not always worth it's it. It's not always worth it. It's, you know, my boy across the street, he was like, he's, you know, recycling, tying up bags. I'm like, yo, what's, what's going on? He's like, living the dream, baby. <laughs> living the dream. <laughs> And somehow I don't believe him. Yeah, somehow I don't believe him. <laughs> uh, we we gonna can, you got time to hang out a little bit? E? Yeah. We're do somebody and, um, plug your shit. Whatever you want to plug. When you got you got another special coming out or no? I got nothing right now for as far as specials. I'm uh, I'm gonna get back out on the road in 2022. Uh, you know, sort of laying low just because you know all these variants popping up and you yeah. try not to bring nothing home. But I, I got uh, hyenas on the second week of January in uh, Dallas, Fort Worth. Nice. Uh, I think I'm gonna be in San Antonio in February, so I'm just I'm starting to creep back out. Move but, out know, of it. Okay. All right. Cool. Working on the cool. other stuff. I got that special dropping in March for Jesus Sepulveda, which I directed, which I'm excited about. Uh, so oh. I'm spread my wings oh. in that in that arena. Um, but yeah, we working, man. The Eric Rivera comedy. On my ho- my media. hope is that all my friends get famous enough to to go. Hey, this dude is funny. We should get him. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my that's my hope. <laughs> I, 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 I think that's what we all try. Like, I, like I look at Adam Sandler making those awful movies. That looks like yeah. fun. You just hang out yeah. with your friends. I'd yeah. love to shoot a movie with you in Hawaii. How, how would that awful. be? And just hang the fuck out. Yeah. It's funny. I was telling somebody, Pete. Pete. I walked Pete Davidson through his first, his first, his virginity. Got you know to walk them through his first getting laid, and. Uh, that motherfucker's fucked everybody in Hollywood right now. You know what I mean? Like, he got Kim right now. <laughs> you, you sound like the dude. I taught Alex Rodriguez that little swing right there. Look at him. Now look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even get a call back, dog. I can't even get a call back. Anyway, um, what? social media uh eric rivera comedy e-r-i-k rivera comedy on instagram tiktok youtube uh go check it i got an hour special on youtube it's free go watch it uh tell a friend dope 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 harry talk to me uh you could go all my stuff is uh, at harry trajanian that's all my social media stuff follow me yo uh you know google me bitch um uh and uh DanteNero.com, you want a consultation, DanteNero.com, uh, click on consult, you can book with me. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. I love y'all, man. Um, don't forget to follow us on the Patreon. It's Manschool202. Uh, Patreon.com slash Manschool202. Um, sign up, you support us because it helps us keep doing what we're doing. Peace. <laughs>